morning. Just some minnows today. Oh, beauties. Yeah, I'll take uh, a dozen of those or whatever. Okay. If you bag them. Where are you heading? Out on Leech. Okay. Somewhere, somewhere out on the edge of the drop, but then it's strikingly, there's some that really shallow. Yeah, we were catching them in 8 to 11, and yeah. I couldn't get them like jig and normal. Just had to put it on them and just sit there and just shake it. They, they'd almost all bite it then. Yeah, they're saying that they'll pitch it out there. They'll start bringing it back in, and the fish will follow, 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 yeah. follow. Then turn around and go catch up to the rest of them. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on, yeah. Appreciate it. You want me to talk? Alright guys, we are at one of my favorite destinations. And I don't know if you guys can smell that or hear that or feel that. Fall is in the air. It's gonna be about 60 degrees today, upper 30s, low 40s at night. And we are at one of my favorite places in the world when fall gets here. We are in the beautiful Leech Lake in Minnesota. And this place is just has a sweet spot in my heart, really for walleye fishing all year long. But there's something special to me about coming up here in the fall and really one of the reasons is there's an incredible bite that begins to take place this time of year that we want to showcase today. But I'm not going to talk too much. I want to have Leech Lake do most of the talking today. Let's dump the warrior in the water, see if we can't find a few. Launching out of downtown Walker, Minnesota, Walker Bay. Now, Leech is obviously a big body of water, but the fish is relatively simple in the fall. Basically, you just want to get around big, shallow water flats. Could be rock, could be sand, could be a little bit of weeds mixed with sand, and then ideally get around some fish in that seven to 12 foot depth zone. So, we're gonna go look at some of these that are getting a little bit of wind action today, and I uh, hope there's fish there, but beautiful early fall morning. Unreal. You can tell it's just the clouds are low moving around, a little bit of north wind, a little Christmas in the air. I'm a happy guy. And uh, more than likely, we're about to go beat up on some walleyes. And I'm excited about that. What a beautiful fall morning, isn't it? Unreal outside. A little bit of wind, which I like to have a little bit of wind, makes these shallow fish a little bit more cooperative. Now, the deal with leech, um, I travel around everywhere in the Midwest walleye fishing, nearly every single week. And there's certain times of year, certain places that are special for one kind of thing. Leech is special to me. Number one, shallow fishing. You can fish shallow, which is like one of my absolutely favorite things to do, which means you click over to side imaging here, and we're gonna be primarily looking for fish with that. Now, the other thing that makes Leech just this unbelievable place, really all times of year, and especially in the fall, is that you can pick up a jig, put a minnow on it, put a plastic on it, and just literally fish that for weeks. Really the whole season, you can really fish that. These fish love jig fishing stuff out here. So we're gonna find some fish, and then hopefully catch some fish here. See if we can make it happen for you guys. First though, you gotta start out with some good old fashioned side imaging, looking for fish. I should catch one here, I think. You locked and loaded on one? Couple of them. If I made a good cast, I don't know about that. Right, 
right there. <laughs> Dude, when you get in these fish out here, they just flat out, it, it gets wild. You might go down a fair, ooh, ooh, ooh. You might go down a fair amount of sand flat, kind of looking for them. But when you do get around them, they're gonna play with you. And that's what, that's what makes me happy. We're sitting in nine, 10 feet of water right now. You know, a lot of places throughout parts of the fall, you might have to fish real deep, not out here. Four feet to 12 feet, super standard issue. And we just got your classic Leech Lake walleye on here. They sure fight out here. Oh gosh, do they fight. There's some place where walleyes just fight hard. This is one of those places. We're gonna grab the net. Look at him, dude, angry, angry. Get over here, buddy. We just wanna put you on camera. Oh, there we go. Who says walleyes don't fight? Yeah, whoever says walleyes don't fight are BS. There we go, look at that guy. Beauty, man. These fish are just so happy and hearty out here. And on that one, you guys could probably see on the sonar there, I was, I was looking at a little cluster of two or three fish. Just put the jig right over to them. And there we go. But kind of one thing about this type of pattern is that you can fish a few different ways. You could essentially just drift across this, kind of dragging the jigs with you, and you're gonna catch fish. Um, just because there's such an abundance of fish up on a lot of these flats this time of year. Look at that. I don't know if it gets any better than that. 22 inch Leech Lake Walleye. We're getting, the day, we're getting the day cooking, baby. We're getting the day cooking. Good start to the day. Heck of a start. A little coffee this morning, a little breakfast. We just kind of took in all the fall vibes this morning, didn't we? Yeah, we've been doing that lately. And you know, a lot of times on these trips, it's just, you know, gung-ho fishing, get up before the sun's up, get on the water. It was nice to get a little caffeine and a little food this morning. All right, I'm back at it. I'm hungry. I'm hunting. Feels good. cast on that one. Got him. Unbelievable, man. Jeez, look at that thing go. <laughs> when I first set the hook, it wasn't feeling that big. It's going with it. Now look at him go. Well, we are certainly on them. They like this wind, don't they? Oh, they love wind, dude. They love wind. And, uh, I really don't know what else to say. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted today to be. Bobbing around in the waves, catching fish after fish. First, I was like, he might not be that big. He still might not be that big, but dude, you can't control these fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. We just want to look at you. We just want to look at you. Unbelievable, man. And we have not been fishing for very long. This is like 15 minutes into our day now. Oh my gosh, dude. We're gonna net him just cause he's so angry. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And I'm kind of rotating back and forth between jig and minnow and jig and crawler to see if there's a difference. As you get deeper into fall, like into October and later in September, it's, it's basically just gonna change over to all minnows. And that's what you're gonna be using. I mean, you come out here with a sack of minnows and a handful of quarter ounce jigs and you're just gonna be able to catch fish really you know, pretty much every single day like that. Sack of minnows or a bushel? A bushel of minnows, a sack of minnows, pocket full of minnows, you name it, but. It's too much fun, dude. This place has a special place in my heart for this exact reason. You just, you beat up on these fish in super shallow water. After kind of a long summer of fishing in a lot deeper water, and they're just angry, dude. It's like every time you come here, the fish are just pissed off. They yeah, like, want, want to fight with you. And that's kind of it. it's just when you all you do is travel across the Midwest walleye fishing. There's certain things that you know. There's certain places in the spring I'm obsessed with. This place in the second half of the year, into this like late summer into fall, unbelievable. Got him. <laughs> Oh man, there's a little cluster of three fish there. And I knew one of them had to bite. And that was like immediate. 
You guys could see like the second I cast it out there, I jigged it once or twice and that fish was already on. Basically all I'm doing is just drifting with the wind, looking at side imaging and then trying to look at forward facing too to kind of make those specific casts. But you can tell when you get around them because all of a sudden that side imaging just lit up. You know, these fish are so angry. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he's just like an average sized one. But look at him. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. On a jig. I don't know if there's a more satisfying bite in walleye fishing than that. Bunk. On the end of your line on a jig. There we go. I mean, beautiful fish, man. He's a perfect keeper sized walleye right there. On a beautiful fall day. Let's let him go. For fish in one spot for just a little while, we're obviously making it happen. There he goes. Back for more, baby. Because when you get in them, it is fast and furious. Nice little fall breeze today too, Mitchell. Yeah, a little bit. Cooling off this hot bite. All right, Leech Lake, let's break it down. Now, obviously Leech is a, like 112,000 acres. Bays, big hump complexes, some islands, long arms. It, it breaks down super cool. And one thing I love about Leech, if we kind of look at the map here, is all the different stuff going on. Now the first thing you realize is that there's a lot of shallow water in a lot of this lake and walleyes love shallow water but there's a lot of it so i can see how it'd be kind of intimidating if you're not used to breaking down maybe a lake of this size but it's super easy generally i get on the hummingbird the first thing i do is i'll come down here to oh we don't want that we'll come down here to chart options and uh, basically what i'm going to do is go to my depth highlighting now i'm going to set my shallow water highlight to let's say eight feet of water now i'm going to come down here to my mid-depth highlight and I'm gonna set this, let's say the kind of the sweet spot. And this is gonna highlight in green, everywhere I think fish are gonna be. I'm gonna set this eight to 12 feet. So now what's gonna happen is everything on my map, eight feet and shallower is gonna be red. Everything uh, eight to 12 feet is going to now be green. So this does a really good job of showing me kind of all of these flats. Now, a lot of times what I like to do, I like to focus on areas that might say look like this here, where I have a big extended flat that comes off of some kind of shoreline now if it's on a point a lot of times even better something that looks like this where you have a little bit tighter contours in an area that's going to help suck fish a little bit tighter but don't forget that spots like you know we'll just kind of scroll around here like this can also hold fish just big flat sand flats and we might drive from here to here just running side imaging, looking for those classic schools of fish. Now, if you kind of look at Leech Lake as a whole, what you're gonna see is you have Walker Bay down here, right in the town of Walker. This is where we launched this morning. There's a lot of deep water structure down in here, humps, things like that. You'll generally have fish relating to some of those deeper humps, some real nice ones. And then you also kind of always have fish up here on the north end on some of the shallow flat stuff. Now, once you come out of Walker Bay through the channel there, you're gonna get out into the main body of Leech Lake. You got two different bays up here in the north end, Sucker and Portage. These bays, the further you get up north, are gonna turn into more sand and weeds up here, which fish love relating to in the fall time frame. If you come down here on the main part portion of Leech Lake, if you're in this kind of middle section out in here, you're gonna see a lot more rock to sand transitions. Those areas have a lot more rock in them. And then way down here in the south end, you're gonna kind of have a mixture of sand and rocks. Some of these deeper water areas will have some rock humps in them like that right there. So it's got a little bit of everything. Now, if you're fishing sand, pretty simple. Just get on some of these real big flats, start driving around and looking, especially ones where the wind's been coming into for several days. Fish generally tend to group up in those areas. So as far as a quick rundown of Leech Lake, that's kind of a quick breakdown. It's got deep water. It's got deep water humps. It's got rock humps, shallow rock to sand transitions, shallow big giant sand flats where you can look for fish and sand to weed transitions. Generally in the fall, be looking a little bit shallower. That 12 feet to seven feet is a pretty typical place we like to look. And then just put that side imaging to work and start catching and fish. Pretty much that's it. Eat it. Got him right there. 
All squirrely Mitchell. Whoa. <laughs> you guys could probably hear me say, eat it. <laughs> and then he ate it almost immediately. Too much fun, man. Too much fun. She is a breezy day out, but it's not stopping the, the fishing. That is for sure. Nice walleye here. Look at him. I mean, dude, the average size class of fish, unbelievable. That's kind of what makes leech one of my favorites. Everyone is stocky and fights hard. I'm gonna grab my net. We could probably seek out some calmer spots that have fish, but we're just kind of on fish right now. Oh, here we go. Nice walleye right there. I'm gonna spot lock us down real quick. Let the Minkota do its job. And we'll show, we'll show you off, buddy. I mean, I don't know how you could really ask for anything else out of these fish. He ate it pretty good. Jig munching, fall walleyes. Unreal. Let's get you popped off. There we go. <laughs> My favorite place in the fall. Angry fish. Look, he's got this goofy gill thing going on. He's got a little extra spike there, right there. See that? <laughs> Watch out for that spike. Beauties, man. I don't know if it gets a whole lot better than that. Let's let him go. Back she goes, baby. Into the windy waters. Oh. See you later, girl. Back down she goes. Alternating jig crawler, jig minnow. Seems like the jig crawler a little bit better right now. Which is a good little tip to remember, especially if you're coming like really all falls good. But if you're coming in this like early September, mid-September period, not a bad idea to bring some crawlers just in case it seems like they want. And then I'm literally just putting that on quarter ounce jig and just shaking it right in front of them. Kind of jigging it through the zone there and making it happen. Rod wise, these fish picked baits up a lot on the bottom. So I like fishing a rod that has a little bit softer tip to it. This is an Elliott 73 medium light fast. Um, but you don't have to get this exact rod, but look for a rod with a similar action like this. That softer tip, especially if you're dealing with some wind and you don't feel that initial bite, that tip's got a lot of load in it. So you're gonna be able to feel those fish kind of like doing something, a little number like that on there, and then obviously set the hook. So it's almost like the little bit softer tips, almost a bite indicator on a rod like this to let you kind of feel that fish before he feels all that tension of a stiffer rod um, and drops the bait. So that's literally the deal. I mean, it's simple jig fishing. It's fall fishing 101. Got him right there. Fish on. I had to beg that one to bite. I said, come on, let's go. We got to do it this morning. And he did. <laughs> well, we're still on spot one. And obviously it's just been ridiculous fishing. Not a giant one here, but dude, I mean, if you give me a jig and you tell me I can just catch walleyes all day long, I'm gonna be a happy guy regardless if they're 30 inches or 20 inches like this i mean beauties dude every single one of them and they're just mean basically the one two punch out here is looking at side imaging on these big sand flats finding where the fish are and then kind of really focusing in on those areas and uh, there's a lot of just roaming fish that'll get on these sand flats so it's not just like oh let's go out to the waypoint where we caught them yesterday every single day it's kind of the same thing and throughout the day following these fish around on these big flats and that's really about as simple as it is to success. And then put a jig on and work it right around the fish. See you later, buddy. Tons of nice keeper-sized walleyes so far this morning. I'm digging it. I mean, it's only like nine something in the morning right now. Still on spot one, clocking fish. Couldn't ask for a better day. All right, just for fun, we're gonna move around to a different flat, see if we can find some more fish. Obviously we've done some damage here, but it's always fun just seeing some more water moving around and uh, maybe we'll do a little kind of leech lake breakdown as well. Kind of give you guys who maybe never been here, kind of a good idea on how the lake sets up, where to start and all that good stuff. Better cast. 
He's all over it. He's got him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. This is feeling like a nice fish, too. They are so angry, dude. So angry. I'm having such a fun time. I mean, after fishing like the same pattern all summer, it is so nice to have a jig rod back in my hand, sitting in shallow water. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. We'll take him like that. We'll take him like that. I, I did see him. I did. He is nice. Hey, look at this. I mean, yeah, look what am I supposed to do? Horse them in. Horse them. Horse them. Right yeah, that's like the number one rule everyone learns when they're fishing. Don't horse them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the number of times your dad says that to you, your grandpa <laughs> says that to you. Don't horse them. All right, so I'm gonna net them here. Mm -hmm. My net is right here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, he's a nice one, huh? Yeah, that was a good one. Best that, one of the day. That is what we want right there. I'll give you guys a look. Nice fatty. That is the ones I like right there. Oh man, just pissed off. Just a pissed off walleye. And I wonder if it's because we got that northern wind blowing off the south equator and we got- Could be. Two degree right helix and that fish does, retrograde. That does all play a role for sure. I think so. <laughs> look at those dude. I don't know if you could ask for a better morning out here on Leech. I mean, this is like, my favorite trip in the world coming here in the fall and it's really just all kicking off right now and uh there's not really a whole lot else to say other than that is just mitch hates when i do this when i tilt the fish back to me but i'm like let me look at him uh, it doesn't bother me look at that beauties man unbelievably healthy fishery and tons of fish up here in shallow water all right there she goes see you later big girl back down I don't know if there's much else to say. I mean, pounded fish on the first spot, made a little move about half a mile away to a different flat, caught more fish there. I mean, my heart is warm, Mitchell. I absolutely love jig fishing. And this is like the premier place to do it in the fall. Fish after fish after fish after fish. Made our move and now we're just, you know, back on more fish. Unbelievable, man. This is like my dream day. Fall is here, the bite is on, and it's obviously on fire because we have not been fishing for very long and we're just thumping them. Go ahead and grab you here, buddy. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> Leech Lake, jig munch and walleyes, dude. Favorite trip of the year. One of them for sure, right up there. Beauties, man. Let's let them go. I'm speechless, I don't know what else to say. Let's let them go. Beautiful, beautiful walleyes right there. I'm in heaven. This is officially the best time of year starting and arguably on the best lake for doing it. Well, I don't know what else there is to say. We came, we saw, we caught the fish. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might run into town, into Walker, grab some lunch and go back out. We'll see. But obviously this is one of my favorite places on earth to fish at one of my favorite times of year. And the whole fall thing's just kind of kicking off. This is kind of like the first week of real fall weather and real fall fishing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are looking to make a trip, catch a pile of walleyes, make sure 
Leech Lake is on your map, Walker, Minnesota. I've been staying here for years, tons of lodges on the lake, hotels in town, places to eat, kind of that cool little fishing community, Walker being right on the lake. So um, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one. I'll link the tours of Bureau down below if that's something you guys want to check out, or maybe plan a trip, see what this area has to offer. Obviously what I'm most interested in is the incredible walleye fishing which Leech Lake has to offer. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. I don't know where we're going to be next, but we're going to be chasing walleyes. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next one.